Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's get right into your reading, Taurus. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of March, 2020. All right, you have the Nine of Pentacles. A feeling of abundance, a feeling of wanting to share or overshare um, the blessings that you have or that you're currently experiencing. Now, you do have the King of Swords here as an obstacle. So for some of you guys, it could indicate uh, with the Nine of Pentacles uh, coming into recent singlehood or the desire to be single. Um, with the King of Swords as an obstacle, I feel that a lot of you guys are doubting yourself or fearing um, fearing what may come if that decision is made. Now, in the past and passing, uh, you're coming up in your own rating, Taurus. Uh, so this is speaking to me directly about, I see you guys very focused and very determined into either making a life decision. For some of you guys, it could be... Um, if you're currently dealing with the third party situation, it could be get, getting to the point of wanting to either cut that situation out of your life or completely walk away from it. Um, now, for those of you guys that have been in a long term relationship with the person that comes and goes, they're not really giving you stability. Um, I feel that you're at crossroads and with the king of swords, this is talking about you're refusing to cut ties with something that you know it's not really bringing you any type of stability so again the fear of making that decision because you feel you may miss out on them being ready to step up what they're telling you here is if they were ready that would have happened a long time ago um, sometimes it's necessary for us to take that leap of faith in ourselves more than anything uh, and detach ourselves from, you know, whatever we think is comfortable or more convenient um, instead of facing the reality and accepting that perhaps this has been long overdue. Uh, so I do see a lot of you guys either stepping into that understanding for others of you cutting out completely this situation, especially those of you guys that are dealing with third parties. Now you do have the magician card here next to the Ten of Cups. So again, What's crowning you at the present time is the magician, understanding and knowing your true power. Stop doubting yourself, Taurus, and stop doubting that, you, that you're that you never going to find the stability or that you're never going to find true happiness. What they're telling you here is that your true happiness is coming at your self-sacrifice, and you cannot be upset or mad at the universe or mad at God. Um for not making things happen for you. What they're telling you is we're trying, we're trying to make things happen for you, but you're still holding on to something that's not, it's not working out for you. It's not, it's tying you, it's binding you, and you're not able to push through and to really get to the point of your happiness because you're refusing to make a change. Now, you have the two of wands here. Partnerships is going to be very important for this month. And you also have temperance. Temperance talks about patience, but it also talks about understanding or coming to the understanding that, you know, when we ask for things or when we ask the universe or God to give us or to bring to us or to help us out in a situation, it's not just about having faith, but it's also about taking self-responsibility when that opportunity presents itself. Are you taking that opportunity or are you saying maybe it'll come by later on uh, because I'm still unsure over here? And what they're telling you is stop wasting your time, Taurus. You have the moon card. There's a lot of uncertainty and a lot of things that are being hidden or things that are being kept um, from you. With the queen of swords cutting through that BS or cutting through the lies, uh, you know, like I said, if the partner or the person that you're currently dealing with only comes around you a certain time, and they're quick to tell you, oh, it's because I'm busy. Oh, it's because of this. Oh, it's because of that. What Spirit is telling you is pay attention to their actions. When a person genuinely cares, they will make you a priority. They will do what they have to do to prove to you that you're important. If all that's coming out of their mouth are excuses, then you need to stop 
making excuses for their behavior and start making decisions for your future Taurus. And this could even be connected to those of you guys that are currently married or in a long-term relationship. If you're unhappy where you're at right now or you're living in a loveless relationship, what they're telling you is, you know, stop asking God or your spirit guides to give you, you know, to give you signs. They are. And they're making certain situations come up to the open so that you can make a decision or you can make a movement and you're refusing to do the, to do so, whether it's because you're unsure of what the future may hold for you or whether it's fear of just not knowing what's to, what's to come. What Spirit is telling you is the more you wait it out, the more time you're wasting. And time is something very precious, you guys. Time is something we can never get back. So the more you're self-sacrificing over here trying to make this work out, you're keeping yourself from true happiness, from finding a true partner or a true genuine connection that is going to make you happy and fulfilled. Okay? So take those messages for what they are. I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see each other soon.